So we're in my flocks bed tonight. I wanted to do a little spotlight on flocks. This is Phlox paniculata, it's a Latin name. Some of the common names are summer flocks, tall flocks, garden flocks. This has been traditionally one of the staples of the summer garden. As I said, Phlox is native to the United States, but it was actually the Europeans who took it over to Europe and started breeding for different colors. And then those varieties came back to us. Now I've got a variety of colors in here. Flax is wonderful because it does come in so many different colors. Even ones with colored eyes in the middle. Uh, it also comes in coral, red, purple, a purpley blue, uh, magenta, and then all these shades of pink plus the white. Phlox will pollinate each other and seed themselves pretty readily if you let them. So one of the things you might want to do in Phlox is if you don't want a giant bed of Phlox like I've got, you'll want to cut the seed heads when it's done in blooming. You might get a second flush of bloom too a lot of my flocks are ones that have self-sown themselves, which is why they're all over the place. But I love them. I think it's a great summer plant. Hummingbirds also love them. So this bed is off my porch so I can watch the hummingbirds. Butterflies love flocks. Um, pollinators love them. And even moths. I was out last night and the flocks were so fragrant in the evening and there was a giant sphinx moth pollin or in the flowers pollinating them oh, we got a box elder bug down in here i don't know if we can see it there you go so they bloom for a fairly long time if you want to grow flocks they do like evenly moist soil. They are not at all drought tolerant. So if we get some dry weather, you will have to water them. They are prone to powdery mildew, especially on the lower leaves. Um, to help prevent that, you wanna give them good aeration between plants and you want to do a very good cleanup in the fall you can take all the you can cut them right down to the ground take the stalks if they had powdery mildew i wouldn't even compost the stalks i would put them in the garbage if possible uh, flox will grow two to four feet tall they've come out with some shorter varieties um i have a variety here that actually starts blooming earlier in the season end of June and they'll bloom through middle maybe to the end of August depending on the weather. There are newer varieties that are coming out that are powdery mildew resistant so they're less likely to get powdery mildew. What else do we need to know about phlox? They do like soil that's neutral or slightly alkaline but I think they'll grow in most any garden soil. Moisture does seem to be the big thing. Uh, if it gets dry, they'll start to wilt and they'll stop blooming for you. There are also some newer varieties coming out that have variegated foliage. I don't have any in this bed, but I did pick up a couple last year. So you get interest not only from the flowers, but also from the foliage. So something to look for if you're going to be shopping for flocks. But as I said, I think the main reason I grow them is because the hummingbirds like them so much. And I like to watch the hummingbirds as well as the butterflies enjoying them. So add flocks to your garden wish list. They like full sun. They will tolerate some shade. But a nice sunny border is good for 
for flax. Have a good day.